Nest. We are Team Nest. All right, so we have... Okay, Brennan's updating here. We have Food Chain versus Tezzeret. Um, Food Chain is going to be on the left. It is Robert Wu-Tang, the man we saw earlier. And on the right, we have Will Will Hutchins on Tezzeret. What, um, the, what, what the black deck does um, is just kind of discarding dudes... It's kind of um, like a black tempo deck. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tempo-y. Um, once you get Pack Rat going, it can be pretty insane. Um, I've had two or three games just end within like two turns of having Pack Rat resolved. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not the best deck. It's kind of a budget deck, but uh, I enjoyed it. I've, I've always wanted to play it. So. It's a, yeah, I mean, I think in the fair matchups against creatures, you're pretty favored. You have a lot of ways to destroy creatures. Um, I think against Brennan there... He just overran you. You didn't really have a way to deal with all his dudes at once, and yeah. your discard is hitting things that end up being irrelevant. Yeah, I'm two one. Yeah, what are you one two? LeBron oh, okay. out of game. GG Cavs. Oh, that's wow. Yeah, that's bad. Wait, No, LeBron is hurt though. Has Wu put on the hat yet? Oh, he Anthony's has not. Dancing I'm not over sure here. if uh, Wu will be hater. putting on the hat. I just wanted to see LeBron average 45 for the series, and they still lose somehow. I, why are you even trying to compare LeBron with Michael Jordan? Stop. Just go home. I don't think anybody's ever tried to compare that seriously. All right. All right. I guess has I'm commentating on the hat yet. Am I commentating Wu, this game? Wu has, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. You can commentate All this right, game. Cool. Wu has not put on the hat yet. It's still on my head. Um, we tried to get him on an interview earlier, but he refused because he's shy. He had the Asian flush and he did not. <laughs> the Asian flush. On the replay, it looks like he intentionally dove into that camera. <laughs> Food chain versus Tezzeret. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Thank you. LeBron dove into the camera. He was tired of carrying the team, All so right. he said, screw this, and he's going back to Miami next year, guys. Let's see. All right, so Will so, opens on Polluted Delta, pass into Death Rite from Wu-Tang. It seems like a good shaman. start for him because uh, Will Hutchins plays Chalice of the Void. Getting your one drop that can ramp you past it is very relevant here. So Will might just play Chalice here, and it not end up doing anything? Um, I could be wrong. I mean, it still cuts off his brainstorms. Yeah. His, uh, he plays Ponder, right? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I think he plays Ponder, but, like, all of his dudes are twos and threes other than death rights? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he still has his dudes, but, um, you know, it kind of makes his Charless agents a little worse. Like, they're yeah. just they're just three-drop bears now. Sometimes they just if they hit a, a If they hit a one-drop, right? yeah. I, really, I think the problem is Wu also plays Decay, so it's like... He yeah. Can just, if he really cares about the chalice, he can probably just get it. Okay, yeah. so it's a Baleful Strix. That's fine. Uh, it depends on the matchup here, because Wu-Tang is a combo deck that's trying to go infinite and just cast an Emrakul. Right, so, I mean, so Baleful Strix, Strix isn't really doing much. Depending on the hand that Wu has, means a lot or not. Yeah. Wu untapping a three-mana seems pretty relevant here. He might just be able to slam a food chain or just go Shardless Agent. Yeah, Shardless Agent into Ancestral will be really good. Shardless into Ancestral. I don't know if he's playing Ancestral or not, but Shardless into Baleful Strix or Manipulate Fate is very powerful here, too. Yep. Um, or Decay. I mean, you know, just any two-for-one is pretty solid here. Yep. So Wu is still shuffling. Let's yeah. see what he's got here. Presents and he's going we got to pass a, a three drop. It's gonna be it shardless. Like. Shardless yep. agent. Yep, yep. Spin the usually, wheel. Usually you want to save your uh, food chain for the combo turn. Into so a relic. A relic of progenitus. That's not a great, not a very good uh, cascade there. But I mean, yeah, it's it's a card that can replace itself later on, I suppose. And I don't. I think Will is on sort of the meat combo. He has yep. a transmute, so. It does disrupt that. It also keeps worth. them from having to draw that next turn as well. So, yeah. I mean, there's some... Yeah, yeah, I mean, just definitely the, not terrible. the card advantage is fine, and it's not overly relevant at the moment, but it could turn into something. Yep. Chalice no, there's the Chalice. For one. A little late, but yeah. I think playing the Strix last turn was fine. Well, I don't know. I, don't, yeah. I think you want to play the Chalice as early as I possible. I feel like, yeah, right? anytime you're playing a Chalice, you just lose value the more turns that you don't play yeah. it. Yeah, so. I, I don't know if he had it in hand. I think he did, but I'm not 100% on that. So who's going to untap? He's got another land, so he'll have four mana to play with this turn. Looks like a Wasteland. Wasteland? Is he, I yeah. didn't know he was playing Wastelands. It looked like I, one. I know he has a Fetch. I know he's a Verdant. I don't know about a Wasteland, though. It would be Foil. I know that much. Yeah, that's true. He is a man uh, of all the Foils. So he plays a Basic. He has mana to use Death Rite with. Yep. He's. I mean, I think right now Wu is favored. 
Uh, I'm not I'm not going to say that he's going to win this game by any means, but I think the game's kind of shaping into the way he wants to be playing it. Yep. Because at any point, he could just make an Emrakul. I yeah, guess I mean, Will could always... I believe Will plays Ensnaring Bridge, and he does have a Transmute, so if he can resolve a Transmute for an Ensnaring Bridge, that could be tough for Wu to deal with. Yeah, I mean, Wu could um, just start going to town with Deathrite w once we get some spells into the graveyard. Yeah. Um, he could... If he doesn't have his abrupt decay and he really needs to, he can just start throwing one drops yeah. into the chalice. Uh, if there is, if he forgets the trigger, you know the resolve anyway. But uh, if not, you know he can just go ahead and do two damage every turn. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna bring the V click beats. Let's so see. Let's see who he's targeting. I'm, I'm gonna assume he's gonna target Will. Will is a full hand. He might even try to fight over this because this is a deep, oh, yeah, an actual hard looks, cast force. Yeah, will, I believe like is gonna one. be here. Um. And yep, here's there the it is. I think that's good for Will to fight over, because him getting a dude on board and just overrunning Will is actually a problem for him right now. Um, so, Wu is untapping. Yeah, now Wu, kind of, Wu can start dealing uh, some damage. Yeah, it looks like Wu has a will, food chain, a force of Will, and I believe another land in hand. <laughs> he does play multiple bridges. Yeah, I, I remember him playing at least one. Um... That would be tough for Wu to deal with. I'm assuming he kept in his decays, though, so it's not just a hard lock. A Jace here is interesting. Uh, Wu's going to yeah. hard cast. Okay, so he's not going to hard cast force. He's just going to play force of Will. Uh, uh, I don't think Will has a way to fight back. What is that in his hand? Okay, Ooh. misdirection. Okay, that's yep. pretty good. It's powerful. Um, uh, So Jace is going to resolve here. Yep. And he'll probably... I assume he'll brainstorm and just leave the Strix back. I don't think Fate Sealing is great here because it doesn't do much. Do you okay, think so he's going to Fate Seal. Do you think he should have tried to um, just hard cast that Force of Will? Who, Wu-Tang? Yeah. I, I think... Because, I mean... Like, I think I want to keep Force... Yeah, yeah, I want to keep the Brainstorm right. at the end here. Well, Chal Chalice of the Void is on the Oh, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So Pitching Force might just be fine. Yep, yep. I guess, like, he knows that he doesn't have a way to kill it right now, so there's kind of... Eh. So Wu is probably at this point looking for Manipulate Fate because he has the food chain in hand, yep. so he can go infinite if he can just find a griffin. Or yeah, three. And, uh, if he can make three griffins each yeah, turn, that'd beating, be great. Beating down for nine a turn is pretty uh, pretty good. Yeah, Jace can't even, really do anything yeah, about that. you don't need that. to get the combo going, really. At that point, it would force Will to use his, uh, his thing to find Ensnaring Bridge. Yep. And... Find Ensnaring Bridge to play okay. defensively here. We got Manipulate Fade up on camera. Um, I'm not sure. And I then think Transmute Artifact. I believe Will also actually plays Leyline Helm combo in his deck. I don't know if it's still in or not. But in the main board? Oh, this is game two. Yeah, is, is this game two? Uh, it looks like it. This okay. is game two. Yeah. I am not 100% sure. They didn't tell us. I know you guys. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys finished pretty quickly, so. <laughs> Cody just rolled over and died. I did. Yeah, yeah, I mean, guys, I, didn't, uh, I didn't put up a fight or anything, you know. You guys play quickly and. Brennan derped on your butt. <laughs> he does. Play, yes, he does play Leyline, Rip, Helm, whatever combo. I believe I've died to it before from him. He is a very interesting build. It's not really the classic Tesserator where you're playing the Demir Signets and stuff, such, I don't believe you. Okay, actually, I'm, I lied. There's a Talisman, so he does play the Mana Rocks. Um, so I guess we'll see what he pulls out here. I think his best bet right now is just going to be to go find that combo piece, though. I don't know if he kept it in is the issue. The the helm? The rip, or oh, the, the leyline helm. Yeah. I guess he doesn't have a way to actually find leyline. He has a way to find helm with the transmute, but... Yeah. It's not like he has brainstorms or enlightened tutors to find the uh, leyline. Played him about a thousand times. Mike on, you play too much magic. Remember Nolrod? Does is Wu Tang playing Nolrod in this sideboard? What? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. See, I wasn't here for that night that uh, we learned what Nolrod did not do, and that's <laughs> Nolrod has no text. It does not shut down the uh, Helm of Obedience. Apparently, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so a deluge for two. I'm assuming here. It's gonna wipe the board. Does it not? Does it not work against Helm? 
it does work against Helm, but uh, there was a, an infamous match on camera uh-huh. where somebody had a no rod out, and his opponent played, got assembled the leyline Helm, and the opponent, and the player with no rod, simply scooped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that a uh, Webster? That was Web Magic. Okay, yeah, Webster. okay, I heard about that. Dig through time. Here we go. See, oh, this, this card is, is uh, pretty insane. This card is nutty, and I believe Wu still has a food chain in hand, so he might be able to do something crazy here. It does nothing. Webster scooped. Indeed, he did. Oh, I can. Okay, let's see. 2-1 two, two Cody Moran over Brendan Hagen. No, zero. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he just force? What did, oh, he forced a Toxic Deluge? Uh, I believe so, yeah. yeah. He digged and then forced. Pitching a Griffin. So now he's going to be able to play Food Chain. Um, yeah, he could simply just cast a Griffin. Uh, Jace, but I mean, I Jace think could he can bounce, make, but I Jace think that would have won. He can make infinite mana here. If he has a land, he can go cast Food Chain, play land, pay three mana count using the Death Rite, yeah. exile Death Rite, make a... Uh, or go infinite, so I guess he doesn't have the other land to do that, or he could just do nothing. So I'm assuming doing nothing means he has something good in hand, right? Bouncing, bouncing the shaman. Bouncing shaman seems weird. He's gonna eat the. I'm not really sure what exactly Wu is uh, planning here, though. He could have another click. Maybe, yeah, that could be. He could have a click. Um, maybe he just doesn't have a food chain in hand. I thought I saw it though. I mean, well, well Hutchins is pretty dang. It's pretty low. Tez oh, there's a Tez has, now. See what is uh what, so what do you get with Tezzeret here? You're not um, you don't simply plus right. He comes in with four, so maybe you find an ensnaring bridge. Yeah. In anticipation of something horrifying happening on this next turn, like I can't imagine. So he's gonna minus three. So yeah, it's probably he's ensnaring gone for bridge. bridge. Yeah. Yep, there it is. There, the yep. ensnaring bridge. There we go. Have you guys tried any of those things? <laughs> Is that is that what our, our emotes are? <laughs> taco taco um, ball breakfast. No, we need to uh, biscuit biscuit bacon biscuit bacon biscuit. biscuit. <laughs> we need to uh, try those, I believe. When uh, did, uh, where, where do you get those? When did we Andrew? get when did we get these emotes? Emotes? I have yeah. no idea. Don't we have? Don't we like make those or no. or those are like the basic ones or whatever? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Kapow. <laughs> <laughs> Troll him hard. How many uh, how many viewers are we sitting in right now? Got the food chain with nothing there. Taco Bell breakfast. That's pa- the, the best the breakfast chain. if you just want to like take an hour shitting your pants at work. 27? That seems low. 27, wow. They must really hate us. Man, me and John suck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. The food chain. That is the card in question at the moment. So we're just going to go next turn, Shaman. Well, he can't cast the Shaman because oh, Chalice God. Is one. I'm bad. So I believe he can just, I mean, he can just hard cast the Grifton from the graveyard. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But, um, at this point. And just make infinite mana, but like, it's not what is he going to do with the infinite mana? He can't attack because of the ensnaring bridge, so he needs to find a decay. It's not going to do shit. Yeah, he needs to find a decay bad here. Yeah. Didn't Giga used to be? It did used to be behind a Taco Bell. Um, it is now next to a restaurant depot just down the road. So if you want to buy five pounds of corn dogs for low price, yeah, five pounds. Of, we're thinking about buying five pounds of corn dogs and just bringing them to the GP with us and just eating those the whole weekend. As in, I'm thinking of. Doing yeah, that you're thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a mana rock. I've um, had my fill of corn dogs and ramen noodles yeah. during college. So this mana rock is probably going to be sacrificed at the altar of. The uh, transmute maybe. We're gonna make a bunch of mana with Tezzeret, I, I suppose, and untapping. Do something with it. Ehead will reign supreme. He may. You guys don't suck. You ah uh, well. I didn't want to say it. Jk. Looks like. Okay. Whatever you try JD to post Gust. is broken. I don't know who that is. That's Thanks. The t- tongue face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Weird. Maybe it's banned. Five pounds of corn dogs is really not that many. Ten pounds of corn dogs. Twenty. Up the we got, a, we got a right. transmute artifact. Transmute. So transmute 
is when it resolves, it is not sacrificed the artifact upon casting, like some people think that it might be. It is only sacrificing upon resolution, so now oh, he's going to be able to t basically find any artifact in his deck, put it into play, and then he just needs to pay the difference in the mana cost of the sacrificed artifact. Second so he bridge. pays one mana that he probably had floating from his signet, and he's going to have a second ensnaring bridge. So now Wu's going to have to find two decays, or maybe a Maelstrom Pulse to get rid of both of the bridges and actually be able to win this game, because he doesn't play the Vela Clad kill condition that doesn't require attacking, even though he probably should. Probably yeah. because I don't think foil when, and Vela Clads uh, exist. When Andrew played... <laughs> play this deck, yeah. or plays it from time to time, that Velen Clad is really it's sick. Definitely the best win condition. Yeah. It doesn't require, because you ensnaring don't care about that card at yep. all. Now we're talking. See? Yep. I, Big I Long Johns is the we, guy. Are we that, talking about corn dogs or ensnaring bridges? Oh, I don't know. He, I mean, he does like hot dogs in and around his mouth. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> sound like what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have an Emrakul. You can get oh. a full. Oh, okay. Nice. Commander's Arsenal. It probably is a whole eight dollars. So yeah, I don't know why Wu's not playing the Velaclad then, because the combo obviously is you get to make infinite mana with your Griffins by sacrificing them, and every time you sacrifice it, your opponent loses a life. However, now you know he can make an Emrakul and just stare at the two ensnaring bridges and do nothing. So I believe he's probably going to get slowly locked out of this game. Um, Will will probably end up being able to take over with a Jace at some point here. Oh, I it's... I mean, Wu has the hate card for the... Okay, so oh, he's going to go, go find he's... the yeah. other piece. Wu has the uh, Relic of Progenitus to slow down this combo, though. What? No. Okay. I think if I'm, I'm going to give this back to John. I think if I'm Will, I just want to tick up Jace and sit behind lock pieces for the rest of the game and just go for the ultimate, but maybe we're... Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, guys, I'm back. How uh, many people we? How, what are we at? How I are we doing? We might have thirty. Thirty. I like it. I see Mike On's back. Mike On is back from wherever in Aeropostale. E head will reign supreme. Played the might. This is a very. I think he very, might play Tide Spout. Oh, he does he, play Tide he Spout. Does play okay. He one hundred percent does. Tide Spout would be very so good then. If anyone doesn't know what Tide Spout does, every time you cast a spell, cast. you boomerang. Yeah. So and you just go ding, ding, your ding, 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 ding. Your, opponent's your opponent will face. never have things ever again. Okay. They can't have stuff. So that's what we was looking for at this point. I I still think Villa Clad is a little better, but Tide Spout is a nice well, Tide Spout thing. is, like, I, I think, even, a sideboard option. I, see, I don't even think you play Emrakul. You just don't need oh, it. Oh, Robert Wu-Tang hasn't played Magic or Legacy in months. He just literally just pulled this out of his bag from six months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think I'd rather just play Tide Spout and Velaclad and just not even care about Emrakul. Yeah, it's, the thing about Emrakul is you cast it, they they Karakas it, you just cast it again. So sure, they can't it doesn't Karakas matter. Tide Spout though doesn't mean doesn't really matter. I I suppose I don't know. Let's talk blue Jins. Um, so one so, of my favorite Jins when I started playing was the Jin of Wishes. It was the five mana four four that with flying that it comes in with two wish counters. You pay four three wish counters, and I believe me and Cody built yes this card. Me we built this deck where we were trying to cast our one of Jin of Wishes and activate it and cast our one of Iona. It was a foil Iona. This is when we were kitchen table magicking. I believe we lived the dream once. Yes. Yep. It was okay. a thing of magical properties. We can talk about the uh, the newly reprinted Mahatomy. How do you pronounce that, Jin? The the good old five six for six that flies. Uh, get reprinted in Origins. Yeah, or no, it's it, last core set, I believe. So let me tell you about what just happened. Vela is better because cousin Anthony got crushed by Juzum Jin two matches in a row. Wow, <laughs> that's not great. Okay, so let's get back to the game. Looks like there's a he goes to six from a, appears to be a. Oh, uh, man. I love that art. He is eating that little man. That is just excellent art. He's so happy. So we're just going to make a bunch of dudes. Bunch of, yeah, he's going to make a bunch of dudes in response to Cascade, casting the Abrupt Decay. What is the Decay targeting? I would assume the, uh, the Decay is probably targeting the Foundry. I, the, but see, the issue for Wu is that, like, he just has Academy Runes, so it don't it doesn't even matter. I mean, Wu, it, it really doesn't in any way. But So what, what would you do? At this point, I don't know. Never seen a Jin more stoked. Yeah, he's very stoked to eat that man. That man 
Can we, like, Photoshop Anthony's face on that little guy getting eaten by the season? <laughs> that would be really difficult to do, right? But if somebody can find can we, what, Anthony what, what, Casella's what, picture and Photoshop it on there, we would be eternally grateful. Admiral, it's uh, Black Green Turbo Depths, who just put Juzums in as backup. If you don't make Mirror Leash, just make Juzums and punch your opponent till they die. Especially because they only play Bolts. Yeah, yeah, you have no way to remove it. Decay doesn't get rid of it. Bolt doesn't get rid of it. This card is actually too powerful. I'd say they should probably ban it. Yeah, Polk, Polk, Polk could 100% put Anthony's face on the little man. <laughs> Please. I would love to get on Atlanta Magic Group tonight after and just this see and see that picture. So please, somebody wake Polk up. Polk's probably working right now, making that money. He's probably... Making money for Jim, I mean. Yeah, making money at Super Games. So... Cavern of Souls on Jin, how do you beat that? Uh, That's a good question. Because the Jin resolves, and then you can wasteland the cavern, but they, you still got to deal with the five. Who's going to respond by popping relic? So he's going to get rid of. He's getting rid of it. He's get okay. So he can't. Okay. So yeah, he stopped he can't the ruins, uh, it, yeah. ruins it. So he's going to. He so drew a fluted fine. delta. He's going to draw for turn. I can't. He drew another food chain, food which chain. is less powerful than the first. Yep. Usually it's not. It's not as good in multiples. It doesn't double up. Last I uh, checked. What is Tarmogoyf? Uh, can you bring up Tarmogoyf, please? I think he's. I think he's responding to the Juzum Jin question. Cavern oh. on Jin. Oh, I well, thought. What is a Goyf if Tarmogoyf you have this on the battlefield? Okay. Well, I mean, can we bring up? It's Tarmogoyf? obvious this man only calls two black. He does only cost two black for a five-five. He's actually too strong. Cavern of Doors is saing playing a lot recently. We were just talking about dwarves yeah, earlier. <laughs> actually, right when we started the stream, we were talking about how uh, food chain dwarves, dwarves is a deck. Is a deck because so, you have oh, the here's here's the mist hollow. So we have infinite mana. The problem is, what do we do with it? Uh, you pass the turn to your opponent. You pass the turn. <laughs> I mean, you know. I guess he'll figure something out. Uh, so, it. the problem is, Will is sitting here with the Will's Jace. Will's at nine, it's actually. Not a, it's, it's not getting high enough, fast enough, and just... he's. I guess he can attack Wu, but... He's going to attack Wu for a grand total of three. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming Wu has no blocks. He's going to go to ten, I believe. He's going to not cheat with his City of Traders like some people do on Star City Streams. Uh, yeah. So Let me tell you good. about those those grinders. They're all cheaters. Uh, Staff of Nin? Staff of Nin. Powerful. Speaking of big dumb idiots, Phantom Monsters making an appearance. Phantom Monster? <laughs> I do not know what that card is. I started playing a Lara Block, so... Some of these uh, more obscure, older cards are not things that I know about. The Phantom Monster. Oh, um, yeah. That is... A flying hill beta. giant. <laughs> that is a flying hill giant. Okay, dude, that's awesome yeah, one. dude, they're coming in. That looks like a toothy vagina. <laughs> 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 that is horrifying. Jes Jesper Myfors, right? This, yeah. Uh, he made Did Bayou Tropical Island. He scoops it up. All right, so. Well, we'll looks like we'll Robert Wu Tang has failed to assemble combo while getting pinged to death by 1 1s and a staff of Nen. Yep. He uh, he got pinged. So Wu's going to. I. So Wu's gonna drop to one two, probably go home. <laughs> oh, is that that wasn't match? That was they're uh, one one now, right? Oh wow, okay, they're one one. I thought okay. I thought that was. So my, we're going to game three. Okay, I'm yeah. being a defeatist. I was hoping Wu lost. So we're gonna, we're, yeah, we're getting to see a grand total of four games this round, just because Cody got crushed in just the quickest fashion that I've seen. <laughs> Herp nerf crater hoof. Like he may as well have been playing against Belcher. That's why I stopped playing the deck, uh, because yeah. you just sometimes you just don't draw your way to win the game. That makes sense. You can make infinite mana and do nothing if you just draw lands. Mud yeah, next. You, um, you need more tutors. No one's on mud today. I don't we have a mud deck tonight, which is actually very surprising. This is usually we have Usually we have at least a mud deck here. Well, um, see what happened was we offered BJ the chance to play his pet deck. Okay, yeah. And, and he BJ snapped it probably off. probably O2 somewhere, crying. No, probably so telling somebody about how good Aether, Aether is. Fold to the Aether? Fold Aether, Aether fold Aether. something? Whatever that crappy card is. BJ, uh, baby John Ogden. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't matter. If you want, you can take over for a little bit. If not, I'm cool. All right. I'm just going to hand it over to Morgan here. <laughs> grab a drink. Make infinite mana. Do you concede? Nope. Yep. Right. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> like a ghastly rapper. Glasses of Urza did not win the day. That is true. That is BJ's no. one of my one of his favorite cards. When do Glasses of Urza win the day? Well, Sunglasses of Urza win the day when it's sunny yeah. outside. That's when those cool win. factor for sure. 
So we've got this exciting game uh, three coming up here. Um, there's a. Uh, you think any of their sideboard changes? Like any uh, of their sideboard plans change I think, after the second? I think Wu is pretty good on a sideboard because he does have the relic and he right. does have abrupt decays. And his goal, I think, is to get the relic under the chalice to hold back the uh, the combos of the the top to foundry. Right. Uh, so if he gets that under, that can also if he gets two under, then you know he could cycle one to draw a card. I think Wu's just trying to assemble his combo as fast as possible and have an abrupt decay right. in order I, to kill Bridge. I think uh, I, th I think that the longer the game goes, the more it favors Will, just because he can play more and more of his pieces to turtle yeah. behind. Like the I think the second ensnaring Bridge was really what allowed him to uh, get the time to win that game. Yeah, it looks like Will went in chalice turn one, one Chalice. Powerful play here. Um you going to respond with a brainstorm. Yeah, presumably he's he's digging for a force of will or another. Or if his blue. hand's just good enough to not right. care. But I, th I think the deck really... I don't is, think he wants that to resolve. No. There's too many one-drops in his deck that he needs. He really... The, the best hands I've seen with this deck start off with the death right into turn right. two food chain, and then three, they're dead. Or, you know, at least you have an army of flyers. Um, yep, he does have the force, force. and he's going to pitch the Griffin, which is, which is the, the sweetest best thing combo in the world. Can pitch. So Wu's going to go down to 19 from the force. Will's at 18 off of his ancient tomb. Uh, yeah, you're going to slam the relic down underneath the chalice that doesn't exist anymore. All right. Uh, Wu's going to go ahead and fetch on end step. Uh, he's probably going to activate his tap his relic to get rid of a card from Will's graveyard. Try to keep it controlled. Uh, and he does know that Will probably plays a uh, dig. So if you can right. control dig, um, then the card's not doing anything else. But he has to wonder. Uh, Will with no turn two play presumably is sitting on counter magic. Uh, maybe some uh, planeswalkers. Here comes Let's see the. If Let's see what happens here. M the manipulate fate. Yeah, I, I think Will wants to counter this if he can. Well, I agree. Oh, he's uh, letting it resolve. He lets Maybe it resolve. he just doesn't have anything. Yeah. So, Wu now has all of his griffins in exile. Um, which is exactly where he wants them. And he's going to draw a card here. Yep, this, this manipulate fate is one of the obscure cards that no one's ever thought about. Right. Yeah. Until until Griffin came out, food chain was like a goblin's chain or some other tribal uh, chain. But now you get to cast misdirection, force a will with these cards and get to use them again. And you get to manipulate fate, which is draw a card and thin your deck and put your half your combo outside put, the deck. Put your griffins where you want them. I think the worst place your griffins can be in this deck is, uh, the is graveyard. typically the graveyard. Uh, but the best part is your death right shaman just eats them, gains right. your life, and goes they go away. Mm -hmm. Or presumably after board, you bring in relic and you can use that. You nug as well your own yard. To, to yeah. Nug your own griffins or or dig through time, which the yeah. deck also plays. Yeah, the the deck is just can play the super powerful bug style grind you out on value, and, or it can just slam and kill you. Yeah. He's going to play a trick, so his hand's got to be pretty bad if that's his only thing he's doing. Didn't have counters, and then he's playing a yeah. Strix. He, he apparently doesn't have Force of Will. Um, I see a Transmute Artifact in his hand. Yeah. I think he probably just has a slow hand. He, you know, I think he's going to lead on... Obviously, he wants to try to make the Chalice Stick turn one, so he's going to lead with Ancient Tomb, but unfortunately... Uh, Griffin, then he Griffin, has Griffin, no. Griffin, Griffin, if he Griffin. doesn't have a signet, yeah. he's got nothing to follow that up with. So Will's really under the gun here. I think he needs to have an ensnaring bridge uh, and the force of will to back it up, or he's probably dead. Yeah, Wu, Wu has the ability. He's played a Strix. He can draw a card. He drew a card with that. So Wu just needs to really draw like an abrupt decay or something. If he plays like a bridge, abrupt decay the bridge and go to town. Yeah, I think they call that Pound Town. All right, let's see what he's got here. Believe he may just be dead. I believe I missed a force, I mean a uh, fetch from Wu. Yep, the Deluge. Deluge, not bad for, here. For three. Wow. So all those guys are in the great? No, Wu can exile him for mana, right? It's not yeah. sorcery, so he's paying uh, three. Right, so yeah, so obviously he responds to that and exiles all his griffins to he the still loses his tricks and his... Uh, 
Charlotte's agent. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with the chat. The uh, dig through time is rather per pervasive in uh, in Legacy. It's that card's really, really insanely good. Um, it also it it makes it hard to fight against because like you you could sort of play like a uh, you know I, I like playing sort of black prisony strategies and stuff sometimes and. Um, you know, Chains of Mephistopheles has been one of those classic cards that you can use to punish people for, you know, trying to treasure cruise or brainstorm or whatever. But, like, Dig Through Time just completely nugs that. Yeah, and, like, that's what we saw against Alex and Anthony was Anthony just knew his game was to draw Dig Through Time. Right. He gets Dig Through Time, plays, so protect that. It's and everything then he wants against Pox. It's, it's card advantage. It, it gets around any of their narrow hate cards. As much as people, a lot of people complain about Blue and Legacy. It's not that it's so overpowered. It's just it keeps getting the best cards consistently. Yeah. You know, and then the... And I do like a good Pox. He did. He is. He's a Poxer. I've I've been crushed by him many times on Pox. Uh, looks like he's tapping some mana. He's going to play a Strix. Yeah. I don't know what he's th digging for. Yeah, I, I think he's he's kind of hosed here. I think he's floundering. just kind of trying to see if he can get anything going. Belfer Strix was uh, from Plane Chase, right? That was one of the more unique cards to come out I in the last couple correct. of years. Okay, Thopter Foundry. Uh, let's see, can he live one more turn and possibly get his combo in line? Looks like he probably can. Let's see what... Yeah, so so he can get the combo, but Wu can just Relic, right? right. And he only, he only has the one... He can only sack the Strix. So this is Belfal Strix. I really like this design of this card. The art's pretty sick too. Yeah. Uh, get the brainstorm. Wu's probably just looking for something it's like beak. a decay. Yeah. It, it. You go ahead and read it. <laughs> yeah. It's Beakrin's flesh and bone, exposing the tender marrow of dream. And. uh... I believe they call this Uncle Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> so he is right. so gonna he gains one life, and he's gonna sack them all, sack them main phase, and put them all into play as blockers. Right. This is what makes his deck kind of absurd when it goes off because it can attack you. They all have vigilance. He sacks the one before damage to make it not die, and then sacks him and casts him yep. again. If Yeah, you guys are right. This game is over. Over. Yeah, like, that's what I was saying. Like, Wu didn't even need a powerful combo kill. He was just able to play Phantom Monsters and beat down. <laughs> yeah. And that's all it was. Which is, uh, a 3 3 Flyer is a pretty powerful creature in Legacy. Uh, it, it is surprise, and it costs four, so it can't be decayed. And with a food chain, your food chain is basically pro removal. That's right. Who's gonna fetch? Looks like he's gonna go down to yeah. So Will presumably is trying to get his ensnaring bridge here. Uh, he has so it. He, he yeah. So he doesn't die. So but. let's go ahead and bring up uh, transmute artifact. And the best part is this was reprinted on Moto. So that we can get a reasonable explanation of the card in the, on the text of the card. Yeah. So, Transmute Artifact is an interesting card. If, if those of you... It, it works a little bit differently from Tinker. Um, which Tinker doesn't really see play in Legacy, obviously. But it is uh, probably the most powerful effect of its kind. Yes. Um, but the way Tinker works... Uh, can, you, can you bring up Tinker? So uh, we can, oh, Tinker. Yeah, so... When you cast Tinker, uh, you, you have to sacrifice an artifact as part of the the uh, part of casting the spell, uh, and then when it resolves, um, you go get your Blightsteel Colossus or whatever. Um, Transmute Artifact is is different in that the the sacrificing and the paying of difference in mana happen upon the spell's resolution. Yes. So it, it can create some interesting states where um, you might 
cast it, um, you know, not intending to get anything or like, like uh, making test. your yeah exactly yeah. making your opponent overvalue the card. It doesn't um, you don't have to input the mana before. Before you have to once it, as it like I said as it resolves it happens right so it's after you've made the choice of what card you're getting and at that point your opponent's already let the spell resolve they can't respond right and it, and it also lets you protect your precious artifacts because uh, only if it resolves you have to sacrifice something yes. so your oh. opponent can force of will something and you're only you're only down one card mm. uh, it's actually Tinker. He's one of the most powerful cards in all of Magic history. Yeah. Uh, here comes Big Little Tez. All right. I believe that's Tez the Seeker. So he's going to, I think he's digging for a prayer here. Living on a prayer. I see an ensnaring bridge. Oh, he's at one? Yeah, Wolfro might be dead. Can well, he, he can, I believe Urborg's in play, yes. so he can cast he can the slam ensnaring it. bridge. How many cards does he have in his hand? Um, I a, mean, a young two. Yeah. Presumably. Wu Tang is just. He has to. Do you think he pops? He fetches pops relic yeah. to try to draw an additional card, and he just needs a Brupticate right now, and then yeah, and then the game's over. Froze dead. Do you think? Would you have popped the relic in response to the bridge, hoping to hit a force because you can hard cast it? Because um, there's no downside. No, I I think Wu's got time. I don't think he needs to okay. be that aggressive. I mean, if he's going to pop it anyway... Oh, he's not even going right. to pop it. Yeah, I, I think he's got time to still work on grinding this out here. There are many things he can... He can draw to turn this around. That's why you need Vela. Yeah, well, how would he have got Vela? Agent of Bolas. Oh, I brought up the wrong one. Sorry, guys, I'm a yeah. donkey. I just did the first Tezzeret that came up. And then Dimebag's asking for a uh, transmute artifact. Oh, sh Bring that sure. up next. Yeah, I'll bring it up. Because that's, that's another card that the wording on the card is not... For which card? Uh, transmute artifact. Yeah, I brought it up earlier. I'll bring it up again. I want to bring up the modern MTGO Masters Edition because it's a little bit easier to read. Yeah, so Will may be able to kill him with uh, Tez Bullets, here. Yeah, I drew a brainstorm, so he's gonna get to brainstorm. Uh, I believe that's the time of the run. They probably have some, probably like three or four minutes extension. Hey BJ, go tell them they have three minutes extra. Yeah. So. Can you bring up the uh, Oracle text or read out the Oracle text for that card? Oracle text different. says, Sacrifice an artifact. If you do, search your library for an artifact card. If that card's converted mana cost is less than or equal to Sacrifice Artifact's converted mana cost, put it into the battlefield. If it's greater, you may pay X, where X is the difference. If you do, put it into the battlefield. If you don't, put it into its owner's graveyard and then shuffle the library. Right, and all that happens on resolution. Uh, not on casting. Yes. Uh, so maybe the old one is just right. better anyway. Because that makes more sense than the new one. All right, so he's dismembering Deathrite Shaman, which he will die to if he doesn't kill. Yeah, the, the, the Antiquitous one is more accurate <laughs> than the modern MTGO one, which is, when you think about MTGO, it's probably not that surprising. Right. <laughs> Uh, 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 so Will's, Will's just going to try to keep digging until he can one-shot uh, Wu-Tang here. You got the sword? I don't know if he has a foundry in hand still, or if he has one. Yeah, he needs to, he needs yeah. to cast it. He can still cast the rest of his hand, I think, right? The chalice on one. Whoa. Yeah, Wu is just, yeah, whatever, it resolves. I can't do anything. Uh, he has an herb organ an play, organ play. Yeah. under the uh, over under the sea. Yeah. So he drew a dig. One, dig, two, dig, three, dig. Four, five, six. Yes. Once What's again, guys, we've seen for? the power of dig through time. So he's looking for a double abrupt decay, I presume. 
Maelstrom Pulse? Yeah, Maelstrom Pulse works too. Who has the Emrakul? Not that it does anything. No, it does But it doesn't. gives him an extra turn. He can cast draw, right? it. Yeah. I, Why can't he cast it? He has, he has Griffins. Yeah. I think you just take it. Yeah, I mean, it's just time walk. Okay, he's going to try to... Yeah, he's, he's just kind of trying to dig for cards here, see if he can find double abrupt decay. Oh, sees. Yeah, that's a brick. <laughs> Ooh, I see he has the Darkwater... Is that Darkwater Catacombs? I believe so. The Eggland? Emrakul. Sugar. Take maybe, 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 Fro, maybe Fro will scoop. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Fro doesn't know what his own cards do. I, I, I don't think uh, I don't think Will's going to do that. All right, probably But not. anything's a possibility. Does Robert Wu-Tang play a Caracas in here for the infinite turns? He, he drew one oh, decay. Yeah, he's got one decay there. Uh, this is... He, I, we've been hoping he's going to sacrifice Relic the whole game. Yeah. So he's counting his yard. Uh, he's a notion he's thief. A, oh, that's interesting. I don't think that helps him here anyways, but... <laughs> okay, guys, maybe Robert doesn't know that he can sack his Relic of Progenitus. <laughs> He's so enamored I, by the shininess. I thought shininess. he was going to uh, game two, and he never did. Oh, we'll have, so. to, we'll have to update him on the Oracle text of that card. Easiest way to lose the game. Why Why would he lose the game? Just for he the, doesn't uh, seem to want to sacrifice his relic. He can, but he's not winning the game unless he gets rid of the, the bridges, and he needs to draw Abrupt Decays. Yeah. Well, I mean, Tez is just going to just destroy him soon, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five. And there's a Jace. Oh, he does have Notion Thief. Oh, if he brainstorms, it's going to yeah, be a pounding. Be Let's see what happens. Come on. Oh, he's going to fate seal. seal. He fate sealed him. This this is where you need Codex Shredder so you can get rid of that top card of your deck. <laughs> Oh, he's, tez he's tezzing now. <laughs> yeah, we have a, we have an update from floor reporter Jeremy Piper. The up the update is that Wu looks miserable, and we're all going to make fun of him for it all the way to all the way to Charlotte tomorrow. <laughs> if I had a if I had a four fifteen fifteen to play and couldn't attack, I'd be real sad and took an extra turn. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he drew another land. That was really powerful. Yes. <laughs> Many lands. He does have... Isn't he dead? Counting his artifacts. Four, five, six. Six, I believe. Six times three is... Is it two? Yeah, I thought it was three. Two. I don't play that card. Oh, look, oh, he's actually doing it. Watch, he's going to draw it. He's going to get... Yeah, he's trying to get his double decay. Decay, decay, pass. So now, he actually can lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll... Yes, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess you were right, Affinity. Will actually did draw the, the Foundry and played it, and then Wu, then Wu sacked the, the Relic. <laughs> Well, I, it, you're you're right though. Preemptively cracking it like lets him die, but like he. I mean, he's um, not winning this game. He goes. Uh, we're gonna yeah. have to. We're gonna do the slow life creep up, with Will making things. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Hmm? Oh, he's yeah. He's gonna make a bunch of artifact creatures and just Tez kill him. Yeah. Okay. Which he, I believe, he already has enough. But yeah, he's just gonna do whatever. It. I think Wu should just. Uh, cry some more somewhere else. Sorry, that's not helpful. Jonathan Job. Yeah, it's the guy that won the SCG, like, Dallas with the... He played the Genesis Genesis Hydra, which uh, Tusk Andrew Wright is firmly against. So I'm going to relinquish the microphone back here to the uh, Ever Black White Stoneblade champion that is Josh Hand. Black White Stoneblade champion and rampant cheater of Storm. He hates everyone. 
You remind me of someone that would be on uh, Red vs. Blue. RVB? Like like Caboose, maybe. <laughs> <sighs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Why can't I hold the sniper rifle? We don't have 200 followers, guys. Yeah, well, since this is a blowout, this, this is over. So We're done time. here. Huh? We need 200 followers. We're cracking a slab to candelabra. On camera. That's On Evans. camera. We will we will Evan. break this open. Yeah. This is Beckett graded. 3-5. Very good. He bought it on uh, the Centering is 9-5. It's bucks, very centered like on the on the thing. Yeah, I think they like Edges are three. Bucks. Corners are three. Right. Surface uh, is four. Will. He ultimated Tezzer after he made a million. He made a deal on this. Got a steal. Look at the back. Look how clean that back is, guys. I know it sounds like QVC now, but this could be yours. Uh, Good God, why are you cracking it? It's a 3.5, and why would you grade a 3.5 candelabra? Untaps, it untaps cloud post. It un why. untaps cloud post, and then ca taps it to cast Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk. No, no, no. Like 30. <laughs> I don't know, but the man who purchased this is extremely <laughs> happy with his purchase. Switch decks for round four. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> What are you, uh, 03 or? Uh, yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Infinity, let me tell you something. These powerful magic cards are designed for playing. I agree. If you're making investments, they should be nicer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Invest like, in 9 5 betas, not. I mean, 9 5 Oh, the, <laughs> the, the less candelabras in circulation, the happier he is. Oh, this seems like a man that. He's uh, a Miracles plays player, miracles. probably. Yeah, yeah. Are you, <laughs> Affinity, do you play Miracles? Do you not like giant. Things coming in play. Maybe you should play back to basics. That's what I'm playing now, and uh, it's not really good. It's not very good. <laughs> Dude, we haven't had any problems. <laughs> any uh, any requests for any matches? Like, yeah, any, any decks yeah. you want to see? Because we uh, we're we're lost. I mean, we I mean we can just put like some matchup between some two ones that are playing duking it out for 15 bucks, or we can put something sweet on cam next round. See what what is the coolest deck we haven't featured? I want to see Evan. I want to see Juzums on on screen. What is uh? What's Evan's record? Black Evan, what's your record? He's two one. I want Evan on camera. I, could, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's probably gonna be Evan versus Cody, so you could see the gate versus that. P playing I'll hate for can <laughs> playing hate for cloud post means they win. <laughs> I'll die with my dignity. <laughs> That's I, that sounds like some Plattenberg would say. Yeah. I'll, I'll die before I care I mean, about that deck. come on. Back to basics, it's pretty decent against, like, a bunch of decks, right? Like, lands is also not a deck that Miracles wants to face all the time, right? Oh, I want to play Miracles all day with my lands deck. Like, if, if you're playing lands, you want to play oh, against Oh, I want to jam saying, Miracles, like, yeah. If you're Miracles, you don't want to play against lands. I mean, I don't want to play Miracles normally because they play one mana Instant Wrath, and all my decks play creatures, and I can't yeah. beat it. <laughs> Just so you know, Affinity for Green, I'll die with Dignity when I turn one Suppression Field. And then you can't play Magic. There is not going to be any dignity because you will still somehow lose I the will game. still lose. They will just play a Delver off of a basic island and you will just die to it. Land is a buy with Miracles anyway. <laughs> is it? I didn't see. I don't really know that matchup well. I've never played either of the decks. I don't know. I, f I feel pretty comfortable with my Miracles matchup. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel like Lands should be favored, but maybe I'm wrong. Miracles doesn't interact with their mana base at all, and they can sit there and kind of lock them out. I guess like you can't do anything about entreat the angels. So if they just build up lands and just well, you know, you make can't a like my dudes. sure if they make them on your end step, yeah. Yeah, yeah. even then you can still crop rotation for glacial chasm. Yeah, and then I don't know. Oh, you, I mean that that's fair affinity. Um, I might get Brian in here. He's our he's our local uh, miracles, uh, miracles matchup he's a, master. He's top eight competitor. Top eight multiple top eight uh, competitors. One gen, one Gen Con Nashville. The okay. Nashville trip for Legacy. Oh, he won that. With, that think, was the deck, though. Yeah, that he's was the deck. The but deck. He's, he's played he's played Miracles, miracles. since he, he the, top, since he, it's been a he's format. He's top aided with Miracles at a Star City Open. So oh yeah, definitely. I have I, not. I forget <clears> when. <throat> I forget which one. I believe it was a Tennessee one, but he definitely did. Yeah, he crushed. Um, so we'll discuss that with him. I I, I don't know. Um, I played like the I'm building the Bantlands deck, so you get like Brainstorm, Ponder, Intuition, Living Wish, Force of Will. And the best part is crop rotation, sacrificing your flags in the trope care. Yep. And then you just get a million lands, and you play Exploration, Crucible, EE, and a Academy Runes? Yeah, yeah. So you can just, like, I don't uh, care what you're doing, I'm locking you out of the game and killing you. What, what was that? Uh, that was a European That GP, was GV Parish, 2014. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I think the man got, like, 11th or 12th place. Uh, that was a very... Two deck, two of them in top 16 or something like that? There, no, that was the, that was the event where... 
uh, Paolo Vitor Demeterosa, Philip Schuniger, and a couple other of the big miracles guys. Yeah, they oh, just they, they ran oh, the event. Yeah, yeah, they that's just right. crushed. There's like four or five miracles on top eight. Or Dude, it, like it was a, it was obnoxious. Okay, just Living, so you know, yes, uh, Farmville. Uh, Farmville. Yeah. Is that what we're calling yeah. it? Yeah. I don't know. That was the name for it back then, I believe. What's your fishing with Meg Ritchell? Uh, we don't have V-necks on right now, and our hair is not nice enough, is your or we're not pretty enough. Uh, <laughs> Greg's the reason I'm pl- I, I like to play ten fins. Uh, Watching him just fumble and just draw seven and not having seven cards in his hand. Greg, uh, 